Hello, Power and Lightning Collection fans, and welcome back to Toku Topics. Pretty hyped for this one. This is the next entry in the helmet line for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. This is the Mighty Morphin Lord Zed helmet. Actually, the electronic voice changer helmet, as it says right down there. So this thing is pretty sweet. It is a fan channel exclusive release, meaning it's only really sold online, although you'll probably find it in some stores like GameStop, sometimes maybe even Best Buy. So this is the, as of right now, because the Zap Megazord is not released yet, it is the most expensive currently released Lightning Collection item because it retails for about $120 to $130, depending on where you get it. I got mine from Dorkside Toys, uh, because last week Dorkside Toys just randomly put it up in stock, and I was able to snag one for about $136 shipped. Um, so not too, too terrible. I mean, it's definitely very pricey uh, due to the fact that the regular helmets are like a, about $80, uh, kind of getting closer to 100 these days, but this is awesome. Um, so I was really excited about this back when I first leaked it, it was coming in September. Then they announced it in October at Hasbro PulseCon, and here it is in January, ahead of its, you know, scheduled release. They said it wasn't going to be out till March. Some stores were claiming, like, the early summer. Uh, but yeah, no, it's here. So <laughs> I will leave a link to it uh, in Dorkside Toys down in the description below, although I, they did sell out pretty quickly here. So, Also, uh, welcome back to my dorm setup. This is the first video I'm recording back in my dorm uh, because, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Very, very big box, a lot bigger than the other helmets. Um, I don't have any of the other helmets here with me to compare it to because this is already big enough. I didn't even want this here. I just knew that it was in stock and so I shipped it to the dorm because I knew I wasn't going to be home for a while. I didn't want this to just sit at home taunting me from a distance. So as you can see here, it's very tall. It's definitely the tallest helmet box. Um, it might be the same width, but it's definitely a different height. Uh, but like I said, I don't have them to compare. But they, it does follow the same style because it has Brand new Tom Whalen artwork where it's just a forward-facing artwork of Zed on the side. You get a render of the Zed helmet, making sure it's still in frame there. So it looks very, very pretty. On the back, you get a picture of it, or still a render of it. It comes with a little bit of a different stand as well. It says, The Emperor of Evil and Nemesis of all things good and pure, Lord Zed is a powerful being whose goal in life is to end the Power Rangers forever. Very, very cool. And on the other side, Keeping in theme of the helmets, it has the continuation of the artwork from the front. And uh, what does it say down here? Assembly required. So you are going to have to build it a little bit, but that's to be expected. It's a little heavy because it is a pretty hefty helmet. So there's the top of it with a render. And on the bottom, you just get like the barcode and stuff. And they tout that this is part of their plastic free packaging initiative. So I'm going to change the camera angle up a little bit here and we're going to open this thing up. All right, so we've switched to this angle here. Uh, this thing is just so huge and massive. There's just nowhere to do this in this uh, dorm here because I just have to sit on my bed. Uh, you can see my switch and stuff in the background. That's the best we're going to be able to do here because look, it is very big. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and cut it open here. I'm very excited for this thing. Um, I was excited for the figures that they announced at PulseCon in October, but this might be the thing I was the most hyped for because uh, it's just, it's a neat, it's an interesting thing. I never would have thought them uh, to do a Zed helmet, you know. We've gotten pink, white, and red so far. Uh, I've leaked to you guys that Draken and the Blue Ranger are coming, but I never thought that they would do a Zed one, so. All right, so here it is inside of the package. Um, this is part of their plastic-free packaging initiative, so everything is just kind of wrapped in tissue paper and kind of stuck in a giant cardboard shell. So let's see, how can I... Okay, I got this. So on the top here, in these two cardboard corners, you get the top of his helmet. So this is the part you have to assemble, uh, like the, the Z on the helmet there, uh, which, uh, I'm trying to get this out carefully, looks a little weird, <laughs> you know, when it's like this. Uh, but you kind of just, there's tape all over this here, so we can kind of just rip. I don't care about the integrity of the tissue. Ooh, the chrome is very nice. I don't care about the integrity of the tissue paper, so we can kind of just rip that off. I, like I said, I'm not too worried about that. All right, I got the headpiece, I guess, the head crest off. So you can see very chromey, very shiny. It's not metal, it's still plastic. It's just kind of has a chrome finish to it, but it's very reflective. And this is just the tip of the head. So that's gonna be uh, crazy because the head itself. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you can feel the squishy brain. It's so weird. All right, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Oops. Oh no, I uh, disassembled the whole box by accident. That's a shame because I keep these boxes. That's a real shame. Be more careful than me. I will figure out a way to put that back together. So here's kind of the 
I should have just pulled it out by this and not trying to pull it out the way that I did because that broke the box. That's very unfortunate. Uh, but here's kind of the big thing that they, the helmet was sitting in. Um, so they've like wired in this part of the stand, which is very similar to the ones we had uh, for the Ranger helmets, but they, they had to do it a little bit differently or a little bit bigger uh, to accommodate for Zed's head. So this is pretty much the exact same piece that we had before. Um, the tube for it though is somewhere. Oh, it's in here, I think. Yeah, nothing left in here. Move that off to the side. Uh, the instructions are just rolled up in uh, in the like tube area that had the actual connector piece for the stand. Uh, so you get two of those, uh, which are also wrapped in a bunch of tissue paper, which is nice. Not that I really care about. I don't really think these needed to be because they're just plastic tubes. So I don't think anything's really gonna happen to those, but sure, you know, nice nonetheless. So I can't believe I ripped that box apart. I mean, it's just ripped at the seam, so I can probably still, you know, assemble it perfectly fine. It's just gonna sit on a shelf anyway. But like, dang, gotta be more careful with it. All right, so you just assemble this piece there, and then this piece on the top. I can definitely tell that's a little bit of a different kind of connector piece than we had before, which is to be expected, because they did say that it was gonna be a little taller, but because of the fact that it's a taller helmet, you get the same base pretty much that it has the Mighty Morphin logo and stuff on there. And I think you're gonna want to clip it in that way. Yeah, there we go. So it's definitely a lot taller of a stand uh, than you're probably used to if you have any of the other helmets uh, from the Lightning Collection, but uh, yeah. Looking, looking pretty good there. I think I got it pretty assembled, so perfect. So we'll move that off to the side. We can move the instructions and the cutter. Because uh, here is the big thing. Covered in the same kind of tissue paper tape combination uh, that the like crest was. So here, here it is in there. You can see the big squishy brain on the top. So that's gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. The visor looks really sweet. And the chrome all over it is just something, something special. So this looks like a kind of speaker hole up there. It's actually a like bar. How does this clip in? Does it kind of just tab in? Oh, it looks like, it. okay, yeah, just kind of tab it in. So you kind of just, I think you just push it in there. Yeah, pretty much. I don't really think you would be able to, you could probably find a way to, to detach it, although I wouldn't really want to try doing that. But yeah, there we go. There's the crest on the forehead there. So there's just kind of like two little tabs you gotta push in there and click in. But it might get, it might make it difficult to, uh, to take off, to put back in the box or something. The head, very squishy. It's made of this kind of rubbery plastic doesn't really have a smell to it. I, I don't know why. I know I just smelled it on camera. <laughs> it's because the kind of like capes and that kind of material for the Lightning Collection figures kind of have a smell to them. If you're familiar with that when they open up, this does not. It's definitely a different kind of material. But it is very squishy. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's covered in this chrome finish around it, the whole thing. And it's gorgeous. So it looks like back here... Oh, that's interesting. So back here looks like a battery compartment. I think it might be. I know that this does have noise. There's a speaker inside of here. Okay, yeah, so there's a button on the bottom of his chin that's supposed to do something uh, with voice phrases. There's a tiny little speaker, like mouth area for the inside of the mouth hole. I don't know how well it's coming across right there, but there is something there. Uh, there's like speaker holes, I guess, in the ears. I really doubt you can see it in there. Um, and I'm not really sure how you would adjust the the head shape of this, because unlike the other Ranger helmets where you would like split down the middle, this does not split down the middle. You just put it on, which, ooh, <laughs> I will have to do a little bit of adjustments. I do want to put it on though, obviously we're going to put it on. But yeah, I mean, this is just an incredible piece. Like it's, you know, it's a thing I never would have expected and it's very pretty. <laughs> so let me look through the instructions here, forgot what we need to do with sounds and such. So to get to the battery compartment, you kind of pull back down here and then it will, it's tabbed in and it will come off like that. And then there is the battery compartment. So let's unscrew this and let's figure out if I have the batteries that it needs and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, so we're back. So first of all, this was definitely a pain to uh, put together. 
uh, with the batteries because it takes three double A's. And I don't know like much of any Power Rangers or Tokusatsu toys that take double A's, let alone three of them. I didn't have any. I also didn't have the right screw. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> but we didn't have the right screwdriver, I didn't have the right batteries, but my roommates were able to help me out and now we got this. So once you finally put batteries into this thing, uh, here's how you adjust it. So you can actually take the inside of this thing out. Um, so it, it just unpegs very pretty simply. It definitely has a little bit of a time trying to stay back in there, but then you just adjust it. You kind of, I think you want this side to be on your left ear uh, and you kind of just adjust it however. Now I've been trying to adjust it to fit my glasses on uh, with the helmet because the Red Ranger helmet and the White Ranger helmet have been able to fit with my glasses on. It's also why my hair is a little messed up because I was already testing out the helmet. And I really can't get much of a good setting that lets me put my glasses on uh, with this helmet, unfortunately. Um, so let me go ahead and clip this thing back in here. So this one is gonna wanna go on this side. And like I said, there's just two little clips near the ears and they don't really like to stay in all that well sometimes, but they just clip in right there and right there. So let's go ahead and, yep, see, it came right back out. <laughs> so <laughs> this is gonna be fun, guys. We're gonna figure this out. All right, so let's go ahead and take my glasses off and uh, put the helmet on. There it is. Yep, the Z's attached and everything, so we're looking good. Let me kind of rest it up more against my nose because there's like a kind of a nose guard in there and everything. But yeah, I mean, the visor's still definitely not tinted as dark as, dark as I would have liked it to, to be tinted, but there's kind of a side view. I'm a thinking Zed, so <laughs> there's a button right here, and that's where you're gonna hear Zed's laughter, which will like, turn on the helmet, and then there'll be the voice changer feature, which the voice changer little speaker is like right where your your mouth should be. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And now it's uh, going to be a voice changer helmet. So that's pretty fun. I do like that a lot. The voice is not really like as deep as I would want it to be, but it's certainly fun nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, destroy the Power Rangers or something, I don't know. Uh, but that is what the voice feature function of this thing has. And then you can just turn it off by clicking the button again. And that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> look at that. It's definitely a very impressive piece. I definitely like it quite a bit. And you know, once it's on, it looks pretty cool. It feels nice. You know, it, I just wish I was able to kind of wear it with my glasses on. And it's kind of trying to slip off my nose there a little bit. But yeah, I really like it uh, quite a bit. So let's take that off right there. Cool, now I can't see anything. So I put my glasses back on. All right, so before I go, here it is on its stand. Let me try to just show off the whole thing. It's definitely pretty big. So <laughs> yeah, I really like this thing. Uh, I can highly recommend it because I mean, Look at this as a display item. I mean, it looks absolutely awesome. I like the voice changing feature. I like that there's an off switch on it as well uh, for the voice changer feature because that was something not present on like the Dragon Dagger or the different Morphers that we've gotten in terms of lightning collection things that have had electronics. So that is very nice. Very hefty price tag, of course, but like I get why because I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> it's just this incredible sculpted piece of uh, Power Rangers history here in terms of having something like this. So I highly, highly recommend it. I think it's really, really neat. Uh, but like I said, just make sure you have the correct number of batteries and the correct kind of batteries and be prepared that you're going to have to provide this for yourself and that it does not include them or anything like that. So that's all I got for this video review of the Power Design Collection Lord Zed Helmet. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Are you going to pick this up? Are you only going to stick with the Ranger Helmets? Is this just not for you? Or is this like the first one that's for you? Do you not care about the Ranger Helmets and you think this is a really cool uh, special thing that they did? Because it's definitely out there uh, for the Lightning Collection, that's for sure. And of course, until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or LightningFreakPR. And I'll see you all next time.